I'm going to ask um, Katrina to call the roll, please. Mr. Fitzgerald? Mr. Taladano? Present. Ms. Tanner? Present. Mr. Davis? Here. Ms. O'Brien? Mr. Stefanczyk? Mr. Bender? And Mr. Airy? Here. We have a quorum. Very good. Thank you. Welcome to the uh, Finance Committee meeting for March 24th. And you have probably in front of you uh, the various ordinances that pertain to our committee. And what we will do is this. We'll have Leslie discuss them in order. If you have any particular questions afterwards, uh, we'll be happy to entertain them. Right, correct. I'm going to do that too. Thank you very much. Uh, prior to doing that, as you know, and you have in front of you also the finance report uh, for this particular month to include a staffing report the actual budget revenues to expenses and sales tax collections. Leslie, any comment with regard to those things? Those items. Okay. And, and part of your comment, Thank just, you. if you I will, uh, call to the, uh, the attention of the record, how are we doing in revenues versus expenses against budget? Uh, yes, sir. Can you hear me? Um, so uh, distributed to you tonight is a monthly finance report, which is comprised of three different reports. There's an HR staffing report, which will show you the number of budgeted positions and if they're active or vacant by department and in some sections uh, further down into uh, subsections within a department, as well as the uh, state mandated agencies, the number of positions that are filled at this time. As it says, we have a total active roster right now of 712 positions. The uh, second report in the file is our budget to actual report. And this is for the month and for the year to date ending as of February 28th. Uh, Mr. Taladano mentioned revenue, but one of the things to remember about revenue is uh, any revenue that's for Avalorum taxes, that's collected at the end of the year. The sales tax is collected two months in arrears, but the taxes that are collected on a daily basis would be those in the enterprise fund for permits and Tammany utilities. So um, we have for you a variance or notes if anything is varying from the 16.7%, so you would know why there is a variance. So everything is certainly we're in month two, so we're within budget. And if anybody has any questions, I can um, answer those for you. Any questions, members of the committee, or for that matter, anybody in the audience who might have any questions? Hearing none, uh, let's move now to the specifics of some ordinances that we'll ask Leslie to comment on. If you have any questions, hold them until she um, makes a brief explanation. Let's begin with ordinance calendar number 6633. Yes, uh, sir. Ordinance calendar 6633 is the Fifth Amendment to the 2021 operating budget. This covers a number of items, but primarily um, in the economic development CRT fund, we are funding $14,000 for bathrooms at the fishing pier. That is something that's not funded by the grant that we have for the construction there. Also, with regard to Highway 21 and Highway 59 EDD, um, the Highway 59 EDD, the tax has expired since 2017, and we were spending out the fund balance. So um, when we presented the budget, uh, we expected to have a fund balance remaining, but we're trying to, we spent that out in 2020, and so we're moving those expenses over to Highway 21. The, um, also, there's $150,000 that we're budgeting uh, for the airport, and this has to do with a timing difference for cash flow. FAA, um, in many cases, especially when we have a change order or something like that, they will not amend your grant award until the end of the grant or until you finish all the construction. So we need cash flow to fund if we have a change order or, in this case, we're going to be entering into a contract and they won't award the funds until we give them a notice to proceed. So it's all entitlement money, so it's coming, but they just won't give you a written award letter until um, you issue that notice to proceed. And then in the, also in the Economic Development CRT Fund, the Children's Museum during phase three, uh, they have certain restrictions, so we have abated their rent. 
uh, for those three months of January through March. Very good. Thank you. Any questions, members of the committee? Here, now let's move to ordinance number 6634, which certainly represents a um, uh, mixed bag of amendments, as we would say. Well, Ordinance 6634 is the fourth amendment to the grants budget for 2021. There are four separate awards on this ordinance. One is for our Animal Services Department for a cat life-saving program, $23,750. We have a grant for um, from GOSEP for elevations, $6.4 million. And we have a grant from GOSEP for Coquille Pond, eight hundred eighty-seven thousand four hundred fifty-three dollars, and then we also have funds that we had on hand from Go Mesa that we're going to be budgeting for a wetlands plan and a materials of opportunity plan for three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay, does everybody understand what that wetlands plan material of opposition opportunity is? Anybody have any questions with regard to that? I asked a question, so right. um, materials of opportunity, if that's what the question's referring to, um, what they explained to me was that just like um, Mr. Davis has previously mentioned that we were able to use some materials, uh, concrete riprap or things like that for um, one of our projects. So it's identifying opportunities and setting up a program or the policy with regard to um, Donations like those that can be made to the parish or, you know, for those sort of materials that we might be able to use in restoration projects. Very good. All right, we'll move to ordinance calendar number 6635. Ordinance calendar 6635 is Amendment 18 to the Capital Improvement Budget. This is being funded um, from the Parish Wide Drainage Fund, and this is where we're, but it's actually being funded by a FEMA grant for $7.3 million. And it's, um, so it's for the Coquille Pond that we just talked about. So this is naming the project. And then there was an increase for Ben Thomas Road Pond and Northwood Village, Whisperwood, Edens Canal for both of those projects from FEMA. And, and Leslie, is the um, $887,453 in order 6634 incorporated in the FEMA grant of $7 million or is it over and above? So the, I added three FEMA grants together. If you look at the actual ordinance, there's a dollar amount listed for each Coquille, Ben Thomas, and Northwood Village. They're three separate projects, uh, three separate awards you know, from FEMA. So right, the 887 identified in 6634 is actually the grant funding to set up the grant. And then in 6635, we're naming the project. Very good. Any questions, members of the committee here? None. Go to orders number 6636. Ordinance 6636 is Amendment 19 to the Capital Improvement Plan. It is in our Coastal Restoration Division. And this is Go Mesa funds, uh, primarily from the bond proceeds that we had. They total $17 million. The projects are Slide Out Breakwater Restoration, North Shore Living Shorelines, Lower Chifuncta Breakwater Restoration, the Slide L Pier breakwater restoration, and then as we talked about before, the materials of opportunity and wetlands plan. Yeah. Now, is that Chifuncta to breakwater? Is that out by the lighthouse, Leslie? No. Where is that situated? We have someone from. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but this is a we different have a, project. We have a. We had a, a grant previous to this. I think that you're referring to the jury adopted, which was near the lighthouse. This is a different project. And right, this is a different project. That will come out of the bonded money. But it's still in the same area, right? Yes. yes. That's what I thought. Yes. Okay. Any any other questions, members of the committee? Hearing yeah. none. We move to sixty six thirty seven ordinance calendar. This yes, is sir. A pretty simple one. And the other thing that I was going to remind you is that um, certainly we uh, attach an administrative comment to each ordinance calendar so that there will be more information for you on a project. But ordinance calendar 6637 is Amendment 20 to the 2021 Capital Improvement Budget. This is for a project in District 1, Windermere Crossing East, for some concrete panel repairs for $31,000. Very good. Questions? Here, 9638 ordinance calendar, Leslie, if you will. 
Yes, sir. Ordinance calendar 6638 is Amendment 21 to the 2021 Capital Improvement Plan. This project is in, located in Council District 4, the old Ponchatoula Highway. It's a mill and overlay from LA 22 to Gladys Road, $275,000. Okay. Questions? None? 6639, please. 6639 is Amendment 22 to the 2021 Capital Improvement Budget. It is in our Public Works General Maintenance Account. There are three items in it. The Honeysuckle Loop Drainage Project for $25,000. The McDonald Road Lateral Drainage Project for $350,000. And there's also the purchase of equipment, a loop detection system that will be used at the intersection of East Brewster and River Chase, $46,000. Okay. Questions? None? 6640? 6640 is an amendment to the 2020 operating budget. This should be our last one. This is a final adjustment for Avalorum revenue. For when we have Avalorum revenue that passes through to the Library Council on Aging and Stark, our expenditures have to match that revenue that came in, so this is to adjust for that. We also had an increase. We talked a little earlier about the... Um, when we have expenses in Highway 21 and Rooms to Go Economic Development District, the taxes came in a little bit higher than budget, and then we set that up as payable to the developer, so we have to budget for that. Um, we have reductions in many of the custodial accounts for the judicial court because fines and costs during um, 2020 were significantly less than budgeted, uh, but they the expenses were less as well. So you'll see those adjustments there. And then we're also um, reducing the interest earnings, primarily in the lighting district funds because some of those are very small funds. So even a reduction of four or $500 might make a 5% difference. And um, so we're trying to address that um, reduction in revenue. Very good. Questions? No questions. Uh, we have no resolutions. We'll move to ordinances for adoption. Calling your attention first to ordinance calendar number 6611, which amends the 2021 operating budget. It represents amendment number three, and it has to do with the GOMESA uh, go uh, bonds, if you will, Leslie. Uh, yes, sir, that's correct. Um, we issued bonds in late December 2020, and last month we brought for introduction the ordinance to set up the debt service for the GoMesa bonds and for sales tax district three bonds, which changed due to the refunding. And there was also for the Department of Public Works um, equipment motion sensors for the Tammany Trace at Thompson Road. Okay. Are the motion sensors considered a capital expenditure out of curiosity? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, any questions? Here are none. 6612, ordinance calendar amending the 2021 capital improvement project. Go ahead. So uh, Amendment 13, which is ordinance calendar 6612, was in council, um, I'm sorry, in the general maintenance fund, and it's for Forest Ridge Loop Drainage, $25,000. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> any other Ordinance calendar number 6613. 6613 is Amendment 14, and it was for um, a project, the Low Impact Water Program Guidelines. It is funded partially, $30,000 by an EPA grant, and $14,500 from parish voluntary development agreement fees in escrow. Okay. Any questions with regard to that? Hearing none, ordinance calendar number 66. 14. Amendment 15 to the capital improvement budget for our Tammy Utilities operations for the River Oaks Sewer Force Main, $38,571. Okay. Questions? Here are none. Ordinance calendar number 6615. Yes, sir. 6615 is Amendment 16 to the capital budget. And as you mentioned before, the motion activated signals at the Tammany Trace for $30,000 are a capital item. The previous ordinance was the operating budget to fund it, and this is naming what we're purchasing. Okay. Uh, any questions with regard to that? Moving right along, ordinance calendar number 66. 16. 6616 is Amendment 4 to the 2021 operating budget. This is to increase the 2021 budget for encumbrances that were open at year end or projects that were not complete as of 1231, 
2020, there was, a, I think, a four to five page list of encumbrances or projects that were attached to the ordinance. And, and what, what is that total roughly, Leslie? I can pull it for you and they're, I guess give it to you at the end. They're all holdovers, right? It's they're hold all, numbers? No. <laughs> they're all holdovers? Yes. These are encumbrances. Oh, thank you. Right. Encumbrances that were open at um, the end of the year. I think it totaled $15.5 million, $15 million. But what you have to understand is some of the rollover has to do with having utilities. It's an enterprise fund. So most of that is their capital projects. Um, we, they don't have a capital project fund. Their capital project takes place in their um, enterprise fund. So we have to roll those projects over. Okay. Uh, any questions with regard to that? And there were, I was going to say, there were subtotals on that document for each fund. Gotcha. Okay, any questions? Everybody understands how that works, huh? Very good. Ordinance number 6617, also amending at this time the 2020 operating budget. There's a whole over. Go ahead. Um, 6617 is Amendment 14 to the operating budget, and it says it's to record the debt issued, the actual debt that we issued, so the proceeds that came in from Sales Tech District 3 and from uh, for the Go Mesa projects. Okay. Questions? Sensing none. Ordinance calendar number 6618. 6618 is Amendment 3 to the grants budget. This is where we accepted, uh, we had grant awards for the arts division, 142192 from Florida Parish's Juvenile Justice Commission, $100,000. Um, from DOTD Safe Routes for Coquille to White Chapel. This was one where we actually had a reduction because as I explained last month, um, Originally, we set up the budget because the parish was going to manage and bid the project, but now DOTD is going to do that, so we don't need the budget in our, um, so we don't need to budget for it. And then what we talked about a little while ago from the EPA, the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation, I think it is, with regard to a $30,500 award of a $45,000 project. That was for the um, low impact program or something. Right. Yeah, low impact water program guidelines. Any, any questions from the committee? Very good. Ordinance calendar number 6620, last so, but not least. Yeah, so 6620 is, a, um, is also a companion with 6618. So in 6618, of course, we removed the grant budget from DOTD for that uh, sidewalk from Coquille to Whitechapel. And in this ordinance, we're removing the project itself since we're not uh, performing the work. Is everybody good on that? Any questions from the committee? Now, Thank you. did any of these amendments or items for discussion, i.e. ordinances, introduction, any members of the audience have any particular questions with regard to any of these? We have mostly our perennial audience here, uh, but does anybody have any questions? Sensing none. Are there any other items to be discussed by the Finance Committee tonight? I have no other items. Okay. Anybody on the committee has any other items to discuss regarding the Finance Committee's responsibility? Sensing none. Anybody in the audience has anything by way of good or the order that pertains to the Finance Committee that they would like to discuss tonight? Sensing once again none, do I have a motion to adjourn? We first need a motion to refer these items to the oh, full council. Th thank you very much. Good. Okay, Mr. Harry, move to refer. Ms. Tanner, second. Thank you very much for that reminder, Katrina. I was out of practice. Uh, any discussion on the motion? Sensing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Thank you. Good heads up, Katrina. Anything else by way of uh, stuff before I ask for a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn by Ms. O'Brien. Thank you very much.